Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox. Today's video is a little different. I feel like I open up every one of my videos saying today's video is a little different, but I have been like dabbling into a couple different styles of videos for myself. And this video is more honed in on a direct item that we are styling and that's going to be a dining table. I actually asked you guys over on Instagram, which if you are not already following, make sure to do so. I'll put it on the screen right here for you. It is just Lone Fox Home, same with my TikTok account. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a table setting video for the holidays and it had 16,000 people saying that they did so I was like okay we are gonna be making this video and I have to figure out how I'm gonna be doing it because I have never in my life done a table setting I mentioned on my channel that I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving this year at my apartment my family is coming here which I'm so excited about it sounds so much fun so I figured why not go ahead and practice my table setting skills while also filming it for you guys to give you a little bit of inspiration for the holiday table setting season so I actually have three different Thanksgiving tables for you guys and then one Christmassy holiday themed table so we have four total inspo tables into Today's video which I'm so excited about I'm walking you guys through the process of how I constructed each table from start to finish all the elements that I use and absolutely everything that I use in each table will be linked in the description box below I really try to utilize extremely inexpensive materials and items because honestly table settings aren't super DIYable you really don't see people DIYing their plates and their flatware and their glassware so a lot of the stuff you do actually have to go out and purchase of course so I wanted to keep it extremely inexpensive everything is linked below for you guys these are all my table settings and I I hope that you guys enjoy them. So let's go ahead and dive on in. For our first table setting, this is our blooming autumn table setting. We're using fresh florals in this one. So I'm starting off with a really beautiful tablecloth. I love the slight texture to this one and how it has the slightest bit of a mauve tone. Kind of ties back to my rug in my dining room area. Now for our centerpiece, I'm going to use a large wooden bowl. I got this at Target a while back. I've had this for probably around a year. And then I'm going to pop in three smaller vases to create what looks like a larger centerpiece. So we're going to fill that up with some fresh florals here. Just some fall themed florals. You can totally opt for whatever colors you would like. And then as far as the table settings, I'm starting off with a very simple white dinner plate to start. And then on top of that, we're adding a smaller plate here. Both of these plates are actually from Amazon and I love the second one. It has a slight creamy kind of linen texture to it. And then as far as our napkin goes, I wanted to add a really nice pop of warmth, a little bit of that fall rustic touch. So I went in with these rusty orange napkins and I love how it has a striped detail around the edge uh, that's also mimicked in the tablecloth as well. So it kind of looks a bit cohesive and I simply wrapped some jute around that, made sure my jute was extra long so I could tie a large bow, and placed a little pumpkin on top of that just to finish off that dinnerware area. And then we're going to add our flatware. This is a simple gold flatware. It is the one I've had for years. Love it so much. It doesn't tarnish or anything. It's just an incredible set of flatware. I'll link it for you guys. And then a couple of wine glasses. These ones are ribbed or I guess fluted. I like them because they kind of reflect the light in different ways and I love the look of that. And then I finished off the table with a bit of serveware and I added a couple of beeswax taper candles and just some random vintage taper holes that I've had sitting around my home and added a decorative bowl at the end of the table for like a salad or something and that's how I finished off this simple table setting. setting here I absolutely adore because it uses a non-traditional color palette which I love doing when it comes to holidays and kind of experimenting with different colors so I started off with a table runner here and then I'm laying down a couple of chargers I probably would never gravitate towards but I picked up this pack of blue plates for this particular table setting and I love the contrast between the copper edging and then also that blue ceramic plate on top I thought that was just such a beautiful pairing and then as far as the napkin goes I loved this kind of chunky just very organic natural napkin I use this in a bunch of the table settings in today's video so I folded on a diagonal and then I rolled it up into this kind of like log and then I'm going to go ahead and just tie it in a simple knot this is a great way to just make your napkin look like it has a little bit more interest without having to try too hard and then all I did was I actually picked up a simple little floral pick from the target dollar section I loved these eucalyptuses and like this rusty orange color so I snipped off a piece of that and slid it into the napkin it's just a great way to enhance your plate and I normally opt for a natural piece of actual eucalyptus something like 
like real of course, but this rusty orange color was just too good. It just made the plate look perfect. Now I'm adding a set of hand-blown glassware. These are from my website and online shop. I love these glasses. They come in short and tall. And as far as the flatware goes, I'm using this gunmetal flatware and I'm doing two forks on the left side and then a knife and spoon on the right side there. And I just love the contrast and almost like industrial element that this flatware adds. And here's where our non-traditional color palette really kind of comes into play and you can really start to tell that we're adding that. With the green pumpkin there, I love the way that looks with the smaller yellow pumpkin. Then I mixed in a couple of other small pumpkins, even a DIY one that I created on my channel, a couple of pillar candles, and a cutting board just to add a bit more warmth to the table there. Now in the center, I popped in this really great little faux plant from Target, and then my little stems from CB2, which I love over on the left side, just to kind of add some height to the table. And I wanted to add some name tags to each of our little place settings, so I brought out some raffia cloth, which I love because it has this kind of fabric-y rattan feel to it, but you're still able to write on it and it's really easy to cut out. So I just wrote on top of it the names of each of the person at the table setting, and then I just kind of frayed up the edges to kind of give it that harvesty feel, and then added a few more taper candles to the center of our tablescape just to add a little bit of height without obstructing your view of the person across from you, and that set the tone for our eclectic harvest table setting. Next table setting, this is probably my favorite Thanksgiving one. Don't worry guys, we have a Christmas one coming up next. I first started off with this really beautiful table runner that just has a natural element to it. Then I added a couple of placemats. These are cotton chindi style placemats, which I love because I like how they have such a beautiful texture. Now, as far as the dinner plate goes, this is actually a plastic plate from Target, believe it or not, that I stacked with a wooden teak plate. And then on top of that, just a small decorative plate that kind of has these little fall elements embossed into it. And then for our napkins, I'm using those same natural napkins I used in the last one, but I'm just folding them into a simple rectangle and adding our flatware right on top of our napkin. This is a, just another alternate way to go ahead and mix up the way that you kind of lay your flatware and you do your place settings. Now in the center there, I added the vintage spittoon, which everyone always talks about on the channel. I love it though. It's such a beautiful piece and I like the antique brass look of it. So I added that with my little maple stems inside of there, a pumpkin, a little floral element, a spiced cider candle from Anthropology that I just got the other day that I am obsessed with, and then a few little mango taper holders at the end there. Now on top of each of the little place settings, I actually added these little clusters of berries that I thought were cute and pulled in a bit more of that orange element and just added an organic touch to the table. I also scattered a few natural dried leaves around the table as well just to bring in that color palette a little bit more and finish off this table setting with a couple of red wine glasses because it just seemed fitting. had to share a Christmassy holiday tablescape. So this one I started off with a really no-brainer centerpiece, which was two cedar garlands, which I'm going to be adding on the left and right side of this candelabra I found at Target. This is from the Hearth and Hand line, but I love how it's really long. It holds 12 taper candles and it creates an instant centerpiece, which is very, very easy. And it was only 30 bucks, so I think it's a pretty decent deal. And so I added those to the center of my table. Then I popped in 12 of the ivory taper candles, but you can totally go in and use some twisted candles. You can maybe even use some burgundy ones if you wanted to add some color so just keep that in mind you can alter these to your personal taste For the place settings on this table, I used these larger, imperfectly kind of round plates that I also got at Target from Hearth and Hand. Love these, not sponsored by Target, by the way, I just love Target. And then what I ended up doing was adding a folded napkin right on top of that large plate, same napkin I used in the last two settings, and then I added a smaller plate on top. That's just an alternate way to do your napkin as well. Love the way that this looks. And then I wanted to bring in a little bit of just shimmer to this table, so I added gold flatware just to kind of add a bit of shine. We have a lot of black and white going on here 
here. So I like how the gold kind of paired and just enhances that Christmas mood. Now something I did differently for this place setting was I actually picked up these little miniature wreath ornaments from Target in the dollar section. You get three for a buck and then I popped these little candles I also got at the Target dollar section which are so cute. I added them to the center of each so your guests can just go ahead and take it home with them when they leave and it's just a little remembrance of your guys' holiday dinner which I love and I lit all of those candles just to kind of see the warm glow that it gave off and that is how I completed my Christmassy holiday table setting. I just love kind of the simplicity of this one and the natural elements. It just seems very earthy and overall I'm just obsessed. And you guys, that finishes off today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this one and it gave you a little bit of inspo for Thanksgiving. I would love to know if you guys have ever done tablescapes before, if you like doing them, if you don't like them, what's your favorite style of them, or even what your favorite tablescape in today's video was. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And of course, if you guys would like to pick up absolutely anything featured in today's video, you can do so in the description box below. I actually linked everything by table. So if you liked a specific table, everything that I utilized on that table will be linked in that section. And one last thing before heading out, you guys, I would love to see if you would be interested in more videos like this where I kind of style a specific item multiple different ways. So whether it be a dining table, it could even be a bookcase, a sofa, how to do beds multiple different ways because beds are always a challenge. So I'd love to know if that's something of interest to you guys. Leave a comment below and even give me a couple of ideas. If you'd like to see a very specific item styled in multiple different ways, just let me know in the comments and I will make sure to do that for you guys. But have an amazing rest of your day. I'm so excited for the holiday season that's approaching us and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.